There is another certainty that we can be sure of in life. There will always be change. So we resist the change. So that gentleman is Benjamin Franklin. I'm sure you know him, right? American politician, author, inventor, so many things. Philosopher. So he says, in this world, nothing can be said to be certain. Nothing can be said to be certain other than two things. Can you guess what are these two things? We are absolutely sure we are going to face. Death and taxes. We will all die, whether we want to or not, at some point, right? And taxes, you're sure, right? <laughs> Apart from these two, actually, Benjamin Franklin missed one. There is another certainty that we can be sure of in life. Absolutely sure. It's always going to be there. What's this third one? Change. So third certainty is actually change. We can be sure there will always be change. I have faced a lot of changes in my life. I'm sure all of you guys, ladies and gentlemen, have faced a lot of changes in your lives as well. Life is uncertain. Change is always going to be yeah, so that's the third certainty, right? So let's tell Benjamin Franklin that, yeah? Uh, death, taxes, change. So when we think of ourselves as Sri Lankans and as a country, we have also faced a lot of disruption, a lot of change. So the Easter bombings, a lot of disruption, a lot of changes after that, yeah? Then we had a friend, our friend visiting us. Who is this friend? COVID. <laughs> Was there disruption with COVID? Was there change with COVID? Absolutely. And then, very recently, we also had that. <laughs> the queues. The petrol queues and the gas queues. Was that also change? I remember something I did for the change. Was started riding my son's bicycle again. <laughs> I hadn't ridden a bicycle for like 20 years. So there is disruption, there is change, there is always change. So when there is change, we find ourselves sometimes in a hole. All darkness around us, no way out. Wonder, what am I going to do? There is a change. So when COVID hit, I'm sure many of us found ourselves in this hole. How many of you got scared when there was COVID? I was scared. I wasn't scared to die, really. But I didn't want to go and spend so many weeks in those quarantine centers. <laughs> that was my fear. So we find ourselves in a hole when there is change. When there is change, we find ourselves in a hole. So when we find ourselves in this hole, we generally resist the change. Yeah, we don't like change. As human beings, we don't like change. That's a given. Very few of us actually thrive on change. Most of us, change. <gasps> don't want change. Right? So we resist the change. When we resist the change, does the change become better or worse? Worse, isn't it? It's, it's more difficult. We are resisting it, right? So it was the same with me as well. I, I found this quote very, very interesting. So when there is disruption and we are in a crisis, we sometimes see only the downside, right? Yeah, this quote from John F. Kennedy. When written in Chinese, the word crisis is composed of two characters. One represents danger and the other represents opportunity. Yeah, we see it as crisis, but there's danger, yes. And in every crisis, there's also opportunity. So when we had this petrol polling, there were some people who saw opportunity in this. Crisis, danger, opportunity. As, as soon as we accept the change, we can start coming out of the hole. Remember, when there is change, like COVID, we find ourselves in a hole. No way out, we are locked up at home, what do we do? Lots of problems, right? How, so all of you had problems during COVID, right? So we're in this hole. I also had a problem. See, this is my work, right? I do training programs. During COVID, who wants me? Zero. No business. That's a problem, right? There's no, no source of income. Because one is, companies were also going through bad times. They didn't have money to spend. Also, people don't want to come and meet you physically, right? My gosh, you give me COVID. No, I don't. No work. So I'm in this hole now, and going deeper and deeper and deeper into the hole. When I'm in a hole, 
and I'm seeing more problems, what happens? The hole gets deeper. I'm going deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper into this hole. No way out. Then one day I realized, come on. First of all, if I want to get out, I have to stop digging. The more I dig, the further I go, right? Stop digging. So first thing to get out of a hole, stop digging. As soon as I stopped digging, I started to see opportunity. That was my opportunity. So prior to COVID, I had only done programs in Sri Lanka, Maldives, Brunei, a few countries in person. With COVID, we were forced to transform ourselves, change the way of working, because otherwise there's no revenue. So I started doing everything online, right? I have an IT degree, but I had never thought or imagined or even tried to do something online before. COVID, we were forced to do it. Because otherwise, you'd die, right? So forced to change, changed, and opportunity. I ended up actually teaching people from 24 countries. So huge change. There's a crisis, there's danger, there's also opportunity. Take the opportunity. 